Hi Aquarius, and welcome to your May 2022 general tarot forecast. This is Sky coming on to talk to you about the month ahead. Um, let's dive into this reading. I will be uh, bringing you today some intuitive messages followed by a week-to-week -week tarot forecast and an extended reading on Patreon, which will be linked below. So um, Aquarius in May, um, Saturn is getting really advanced in your sign, and I feel there's a little bit of a change in what that transit is meaning for you now. There could be a little bit more... Um, scrutiny during this time, or there could also be a feeling of like, you know, having to work too hard for what you're making, and sort of a reward at the same time. So there's this feeling, I think, of Aquarius having more than they realize, but at the same time, there might be a want to overwork or do too much, that by the end of the month, you're going to need to be, um, you know, really taming or uh, finding good solutions for. Um, so as I was meditating on your energy, the main thing that was coming up for me was um, things are better outside than they are inside. So you might want to get out of the house some this month if you can, or you might want to watch out for staying too cramped up or too like in your own bubble, because I feel that there are or there is like a really abundant world outside for you, uh, full of new people, new experiences, new events and um, rewards of some kind. It feels that the temperature might be really nice or the um, areas with which you have access to are perhaps preferable than being inside all the time. And by the end of the month, again, I'm seeing you perhaps being outdoors a lot more or being um, needing to be. Um, so for an Aquarius with Saturn getting so advanced in your sign, the mind can be really harsh, okay? You might be really critical and not realize it. You might be holding yourself to impossible standards. You might be demanding yourself, especially if you're self-employed or have a lot of independence over how you work or how you uh, produce in life. Um, there could be a tendency to over push yourself and lose track of the abundance that you need. So um, it's interesting here in 2022, how like overworking or pushing things further than they need to go, can actually start to eclipse some of the things you need to do. So as you push so hard to work or as you push so hard to um, overdo something, it becomes more difficult to like wrap your mind around like loftier things or the things you actually need to do. Um, so the muscle memory needs to expand this month. And I feel that Aquarius needs to um, act more justly to themselves by expanding outside of what they're accustomed to. So you have the Justice card, the High Priestess, and the Empress coming up as Major Arcana. Um, so you're needing to really acknowledge the feminine side of your personality, and also you're needing to uh, really think about your own personal justice or your own personal balance. Um, is there an imbalance, like being too internally focused or being too externally focused for some of you? It's really important to readjust that and give yourself also time to recover from any type of burnout or be able to see that coming if that possibly were oncoming. Um, the reason that I'm feeling there's a change this month for you is because you've got the Six of Swords coming up in the center of the reading and it's taking you from a very uh, deliberative place to a more uh, receptive place. So uh, overthinking things is really harsh in May. We had this eclipse on April 30th, and then we have another lunar eclipse on May 16th. And this eclipse season on the axis of Scorpio and Taurus deals a lot with overthinking. It deals a lot with um, thinking about success rather than having it, or dreaming about prosperity rather than having it. And I see that there's a big shift for you in those regards as you have Page and Knight of Pentacles and then Queen of Pentacles. So you have a very cohesive chronological material evolution this month. And that starts with rebalancing your output and rebalancing the way that you're spending energy. So again, I come back to the very beginning of the reading. Things are better outside, perhaps, than they are inside. So think about um, expanding your horizons and perhaps cultivating uh, more friendship as well. Uh, let's do this week to week. Uh, week one, Page of Cups, rooted down by the Justice card. Um, you are having perhaps some justice come through for a previous emotional wound. You could receive an apology. You could also um, be wanting to like reach out to someone from your past and start over. I see that with Page of Cups a lot. Uh, in the Justice card, it's like... Um, 
wanting to be acknowledged also as innocent or as uh, not having done wrong. Uh, so there could be like a quest for being acknowledged for like who you really were instead of like having any like negative gossip or any uh, false rumors spread. You could be like clarifying something there or you could be walking out of a group of people who are like dishonest or aren't like super fair. Um, and that's uh, indicated as a very positive thing for you in the first week. Um, also, I feel in the first week that you are uh, needing to make a judgment on something or you're needing to understand whether something is or is not a positive uh, structure in your life and uh, plan accordingly. Okay, the justice card is great for understanding what something is and then being able to set a resolution or set a action plan for either growing it or reducing it, so on and so forth. So week number two, page of pentacles rooted down by the six of swords. A change perhaps in job. For some of you, this is like job, like realizing that your current um, source of income perhaps is not fair to you and you might be resolving to change that or to switch fields or something and that's supported in the second week or to understand or to emotionally prepare for that. And I feel that in the second week, you will mostly be um, looking to other modalities of gain okay so perhaps switching from short term to long term gain whatever it is it seems uh, very heavily um, based in uh, reality or material strength uh, so it's maybe more difficult for aquarians to be like only thinking about innovation or only thinking about like uh, air element success you are perhaps starting to look more for like earth element success so it's good also to be around earth signs this month with all of those pentacles cards so taurus virgo and capricorn people might be very helpful for you in the second third and fourth week uh, as you kind of move on this quest for uh easier living okay the high priestess and the empress both are about um pause tranquility uh passive reception Basically, I'm feeling that many Aquarians don't want to fight so hard or don't want to like push so hard to achieve a very like basic level of well-being. And that becomes a big energetic shift. That becomes a big uh, kind of um, soul evolution into like how the earth works and how like materialism or uh, consumerism also becomes a plight or a uh, reinforcement of uh, contract-based way of living, which is a lower dimensional way of living. Um, so nonetheless, we all here in the earth plane, uh, or certainly the majority of people participate in to some degree in a contractual, you know, in a life based on contracts. Um, I do feel that you are looking to change contracts or you're looking to um, really have a better contractual experience of life. So second week will be about stepping on that train or about um, st putting that into action. Week three, Knight of Pentacles, rooted down by the High Priestess. At the same time, you're not like willing to have a bland or um, non-compelling experience. Though, I will say, it feels that the more normalized or the more uh, solid your career is or your job is, the more you have like room in your personal life to have a very like almost, um, I want to say intriguing or uh, even esoteric type of focus. Uh, it feels that you can normalize and increase your uh, knowledge of the world or your knowledge also of certain um, more hidden areas. Uh, perhaps Aquarians in the third week, some of you might be starting a spiritual career or starting some type of um, study into uh, occultism. I could see that with those two cards together. Um, or some of you might be offering services tied to that. Uh, which seems supported, but um, also think about how uh, that affects the people that you're around or how that or what that means for like your uh, social standing as well. That's an important thing to consider with with tracks like that because a lot of people don't think about like um, how limiting it can actually be. Uh, you know, like uh, who you can be around or who you can really like associate with when that becomes like your, I don't know, societal like cutout. Um, although that's also changing, you know, it's becoming more acceptable and, and it's becoming more like uh, recognized, I think, to participate in these types of careers, which is good to see. So you might also be finding a way uh, to make that work or finding a way to make that more, um, I don't know, easy feeling. 
Uh, but basically, it, it might also be a good time to invest in spiritual healing or to invest in some type of holistic healing. Um, so hiring a good astrologer or working with like a kinesiologist or uh, finding new hybrid versions of healing for yourself uh, would also be good in the third week. Um, week number four, Queen of Pentacles rooted down by the Empress. Beautiful combination there. Um, that's a wonderful, wonderful combination of energies. It's like knowing how the earth works, knowing how to receive in a positive, healthy, equitable way. Um, I really am interested in what you're learning there. Uh, for those of you who are understanding how to do that, please comment below. I would love to know how you're um, not having to like work so hard or like grind your fingers to the bone working for another person to really have abundance and to really step into um, abundant living while honoring yourself, while also not like tarnishing your name or tarnishing your reputation or being unethical in any way. There's a very incredible way for Aquarius in the fourth week to have it all or to have an idea that is wholesome, okay? You don't have to, you know, kill yourself to like burn yourself out in order to get by. You don't also have to um, participate in any type of like weird like uh, pyramid schemes. You don't have to uh, invest in things you don't understand, you know, but somehow maybe it's through like uh, marriage or maybe it's through relationship, but it's also your own or it's also um, actually yours. So there's a really wonderful way in the fourth week as we hit Gemini season there for you to be transcended out of any um, negative lower vibrational ways of self-sustaining, okay? Um, and again, that can look like uh, just not being paid enough for what you do or also not being able to find work or also, um, you know, being in a place that you've grown out of. Anything like that, I feel that you are transcending, which is beautiful to see. And again, I feel that this ties directly into getting out or getting out of the house or getting out of your head a little bit because the energy is very focused in like the third eye and the crown right now collectively. And I see so many people like knowing exactly what to do or having like multiple options that are great, like all of them, but it is hard to do them all, or it, we do eventually have to choose and get that energy out of the head because it can actually be bad for us for that energy to be stuck in the head and not like channeling. So this could also be like, you know, the entire month for you about like learning how to channel ex excess energy and that leading to you having a more refined and precise uh, career experience. So let's uh, talk more about that in your extended reading on Patreon Aquarius. I hope you've enjoyed this general reading here on YouTube. I'm going to uh, ask a few questions about how to uh, better channel energy and get, get it out of your like crown and third, third eye chakra um, and how to really have a nice good chakra system. We'll, we'll look a little bit into that just for your sign in the extended and I'll get a central theme into supporting themes. Um, thank you so much for your likes, comments, and subscribes here on YouTube, and let's jump over to Patreon now, the link below, and in the center of your screen. Um, I will see you over there. Have a great month. Bye.